So from time to time on this channel, I like to get numerical. I like to see, put an analysis together, see what a certain time frame, what the revenue or profits could be, and what the stock price would be. And since I'm all in a Tesla, you guys already know on this channel, I do a lot of Tesla analysis, but it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So in this video, we're going to answer the question, when will Tesla's robo taxi business or their revenue 10x Tesla's overall revenue? And I think that this is a very interesting video and pretty, I think, informative for all of us to know how many robo taxis does Tesla need on the road to make this much? I think this is going to be a very interesting video. So let's get down to it. Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. So in 2024, Tesla ended the year almost at $100 billion in revenue. I think it was like 97, 98 billion in revenue to be more exact. But let's just say 100 billion to be more simple, right? At 10x from that is a trillion in revenue which is insane a trillion in revenue i think right now amazon is doing close to almost a trillion in revenue which is insane i mean they're the closest one to it but when when will robot taxis come into play so tesla could be making a trillion in revenue which would mean 900 billion coming from in revenue coming from the robot taxi business and that's what i'm going to be asking or answering the question today and the answer is actually quite surprising to me because i thought we needed a lot more robot taxis on the road to hit 900 billion dollars in revenue based on the model that i have here which we're going to go over right now so grab your popcorn get ready because this is a very interesting model i think 70 to 80 percent is pretty accurate because a lot of very varieties and elements that we don't know yet that we will know very soon once robot taxis become much more of a common thing i would say q4 earnings report or an earnings call will get a much better data on how tesla is performing their ride shares which i'm very interested and very hyped to see what that is but here is the chart my little robot taxi chart that i use to predict these things and yes this is also available on patreon you guys can play around with the number whatever you like card in the corner so let me go over this because the last time i used this chart everybody was confused so i think for the most part it's very simple we have fsd per year so in the beginning or in 2025 i have 99 bucks per month and this is straight subscription. I think that's going to be the case. Once the CyberCab is out, I don't think there's going to be a one-time fee anymore. I think it'll be all subscription. And it's easier to track when it comes down to subscription. So 99 bucks a month per year, it would be almost 1200 bucks. Base fare of a dollar. So once you get in the car, the base fare is a dollar right away. I think it's going to be one dollar cost per mile when it starts and yes i totally forgot mentioning the fleet here i do think that by end of this year we're gonna have a thousand robo taxis in the u.s i'm gonna have a separate video discussing that but i highly do believe this now we have each cyber cab or each robo unsupervised fsc model y model 3 whatever it's going to be i think there's gonna be around 30 trips per day at an average of five miles right now this could be di this could be different maybe it'll be only 10 trips per day at a much higher mile Maybe not, maybe it'll be at five miles, but I think five miles at 30 trips per day in the beginning is not, I don't think it's realistic. People are still going to be commuting with their own cars and stuff like that. I think this will be more realistic by end of this decade when there's more of them out there and people will start to realize that, oh wait, robot taxis are a whole lot cheaper than owning a car and using a car. So I'll just use robot taxis and they're becoming more common everywhere and they're 24 seven. I'll just use that rather than driving places. I think 30 trips per day, maybe even up to 50 trips per day will be possible in the mid 2030s and beyond. But to keep things simple, I put here 30 trips per day at an average of five miles per each trip. That's 150 miles traveled per day. That's important per day. And that will be a revenue if the base fare is a dollar, cost per mile is a dollar with 30 trips a day at an average mile of 150. That's $180 revenue per day now with a thousand fleet the total revenue would be almost 67 million dollars and tesla taking a cut of let's say 30 percent we don't know yet that this it could be as high as 50 percent it could be even lower to 20 percent we don't know but i think 30 percent is a safe number plus their fsd as they take on a monthly basis tesla will be taking home 21 million dollars a little bit more than that in, in just straight profit net profit that's your profit that's it right? Because there's no expenses to this. It's just software and the fleet is working for you. The rest of the money will be distributed towards the other operators. That's how it would work. 2% of that earnings will come from FSD. 
If we give this a 30 PE, that's a market cap of $637 million and a stock price that adds on is only 18 cents. So it doesn't move anything this year whatsoever. But as the years go on, guys, it's gonna get juicy. Check this out, right? So I think in 2026, next year, Elon first talked about having a million or two robot taxis on the road. I don't think that's possible. I think same time next year, around this time, it would be maybe Tesla will have 100,000 robo taxis on the road, I would say, in North America, because in North America, there is about like 4 million Teslas. Let's say half of it is hardware for, and they can be used for robo taxis, right? I think 5% of that, which is 100,000, I think that's I think that's doable, right? Comment down below, what do you think? And I think 100,000, once scaled, if everything's going right, 100,000 is doable. I also think the FSD is still 99 bucks a month, a dollar base fare, 80 cents. We're coming down from a dollar to 80 cents because now you, you've pretty much 100x the amount of fleet you have on the road. You're bringing it down, cost per pound to 80 cents. That's $150 revenue per day, 5.6 billion in revenue annually. Tesla will take home almost 1.8 billion with a P of 30, which again, it'll be more than that, but with a market cap of 30, that's almost 54 billion dollars in market cap and a stock price of fifteen dollars and forty cents so it starts to move out a little more but if we move on to 2027 at if we 10x that to a million i do think by 20 by end of 2027 by the end of 2026 and 2027 tesla will be selling around two to three million vehicles on the road delivering that much new vehicles including the cyber cab and the affordable models as well and i do think some part of the affordable models are gonna have, will be stripped down model three or model Y, but with no steering wheels and pedals. This makes sense to me if Robotaxi, well, it looks like Robotaxi is the way that Tesla's going and it does make sense for them to do that. So seeing a million or another new 900,000 Robotaxis entering the market does make sense. And I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla enters other markets as well with this. Nonetheless, everything else is the same here, except for cost per mile comes down to 50 cents. Revenue per day drops down to 105. But look at the revenue annually and look at Tesla's cut of $13 billion, 30 PE. That's a market cap of $400 billion, which is insane. With only 1 million robotaxis on the road, Tesla could potentially be worth $400 billion. And that's, and that's a stock price of 112, we can say. Which is insane because all we need is really 1 million robotaxis on the road. And that's pretty much almost half, well, I would say 40% of Tesla's valuation right off the bat. And this is why it gets more juicy. In 2028, if we double that to 2 million and we, if we increase and I do think this will happen. The FSD rate from 99 bucks a month to 100, 199 bucks a month because now it's, hey, the thing is driving itself. And I think 99 bucks a month is pretty cheap for something that does the things that it does. But it's not recognized right now. It's not realized right now. But once it's realized, Tesla is going to jack up this price incrementally. And this is a big leverage that Tesla has when it comes to the software business. You know what I'm trying to say? So that would, that would pretty much double, more than double, pretty much free money. I mean, this is just something that is pretty much 100% margins for this, which is insane. Cost per mile is the same. Look at that revenue being over $81 billion and Tesla's cut almost $30 billion, 6% now coming from FSD because we increased it, right? Doubling it from the previous year. And look at that for the 30 PE, that's a market cap of 900 billion dollars and that's a stock price of 250 which is 100 dollars less than what where it is now at around 350 and that's only with 2 million robo taxis on the road which is insane but remember we need a revenue of 900 billion so this is what i'm saying the numbers are getting closer and closer when they keep doubling. And that's what we did for 2029 as well. If they have 4 million robot taxes on the road by 2029, same cost per mile, same FSD cost per year, that's practically a doubling in everything in revenue, in Tesla's cut and profits, market cap of $1.8 billion and a stock price of 500 bucks per share with a 30 PE. This is a 30 PE. That means with a 4 million robot taxi fleet on the road, that's more than Tesla's evaluation right now. Just 4 million. That's, you just need 4 million to hit 500 bucks per share, which is insane. Of course, with these trips per day and average miles driven per day and cost per mile and base fare, we don't know what's going to happen with that. But 
I do think that these elements will happen. 2030, if we double that to 8 million vehicles on the road with the same cost per mile and the base fare, I mean, just look at that. That's another doubling, right? 325 billion in revenue. Tesla takes home almost 117 billion. Market cap, again, with a 30 PE, 3.5 trillion, and the stock price at 1,000 bucks per share just from the robo taxi. It's insane. Next year, 2031, around 15 million robo taxis on the road. That's going to be insane. I don't know if that'll happen, but. I do think that in the 2030s, Tesla will have around 50 million Teslas on the road. So around 15 million robot taxis does make sense. And I do think majority of the developed countries are allowing this unsupervised FSD, which is robot taxis. Everything is the same except for FSD subscription got increased another $100 to $299 bucks a month or annually $3,600 a month. And cost per mile went down by 10 cents to 40 cents. Revenue per day went down to $90 because now you have 15 million of them worldwide going around. Revenue will be almost 550 billion, 30% cut plus the FSD, that's 218 billion, 30 PE. What's crazy here is that 10% of the revenue of $550 billion almost is coming from subscription, FSD subscriptions subscription month annually so almost 55 billion dollars is coming from FSD subscription that's insane and that's a stock price of almost 1900 bucks per share guys and all you need is only 15 million robot taxis on the road next year is the magic number almost 25 million and again i increase the FSD subscription by another hundred dollars to 299 bucks a month almost 4800 dollars annually the cost per mile reduced it down to 30 cents that's 75 bucks revenue per day. Look at the revenue, almost over $800 billion in revenue, $361 billion in Tesla's cut. 15% of that of the revenue is coming from FSD subscriptions. That's a market cap of almost $11 trillion and a mark and a stock price of $3,000 bucks per share, almost $3,100 per share. Now, that's the crazy part, guys. Look at this. We need only 25 million robotaxis for it to hit at least 10x. Okay, that's 800 billion. I think it's about 28 million robot taxis with these metrics to hit 900 billion dollars or 10x. So that's what that's what it'll take. We need 28 million robot taxis on the road for Tesla to generate around 900 billion dollars in revenue. If all these metrics come correct, which is absolutely insane. Again, I thought the number has to be closer to maybe 80 million, 90 million, but no, it's only 28 million. That's it. And by the year of 2032, Tesla should have about maybe 70 million vehicles on the road, 80 million vehicles on the road. Elon was talking about having 100 million vehicles on the road by 2030. But I'm thinking around 70, 80 would it makes more sense based on the ways the things are going. Unless robot taxi is really, or cyber cab is really start selling like hotcakes in the tens of millions, then I can probably see it hitting 100 million by 2030. But I'm thinking around 60, 70 million makes more sense. In my case, that's like, what, 40% of all Tesla vehicles are robo taxis and RIP car ownership and no one's going to be driving anymore. That's, that's insane. That's insane. If you guys want to know the rest of the numbers, I mean, it gets nuttier as I go. Here's the rest of the numbers. You guys can see by 2040, 100 million vehicle robo taxis. I mean, the market cap of 38 trillion and a stock price of 11,000 bucks per share. And this is just a robot tax. Anyway, this is just, this is not financial advice. This is just me doing my analysis and just showing you guys. It's incredible. It's insane to me. But the magic number here is looking like based on this analysis is only 28 million vehicles to, to 10 X revenue for Tesla. Now, of course, you got energy involved, you got Optimus involved and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure on the income statement, they will separate robot taxis and software and FST for sure, 100%. But we'll compare it then. And see what happens. See if I was right or not. 28 million vehicles to be robot taxis in order for Tesla to reach this 10x. Sheesh, comment down below. What do you guys think? I'm very interested to know. My goodness. Anyways, that is one of these, you know, one of these videos I like to get numerical with. I know I've been doing a lot of news updates and stuff like that because there's a lot of news going on with Tesla and I love covering it. So I'll do more of these numerical stuff. You know, how many shares you need to retire, 20, 30 stock prices, those are coming back. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. But I'm also focusing on doing a lot of podcasts this year. So it's a, it's a very interesting year and I, and I know you guys will enjoy it. Just like how I did this podcast with Alexandria recently and it was fire. How RoboTax is going to change everything. Perfect subject to get into once you 
if you, if you enjoy this video, you'll love this video. Trust me. Subscribe, guys. Become a channel member if you guys aren't already. There's exclusive content coming and early access to these awesome videos. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.